We are just days away from Tesla's AI day and it's already shaping up to be the most mind-blowing presentation that the company has ever given. Elon has set the stage by saying that this event is not for the average consumer. It's not for the media or retail investors. This is all about Tesla recruiting the best minds in the field of artificial intelligence to come and work with them. So that would imply that Tesla has something going on that's so unique and so exciting that some of the smartest people in the world will just drop what they're doing right now and go over to Tesla to help work on this. Whatever that thing is, I don't know. Nobody knows right now. But it's really fun to think about. So let's spend some time digging into Tesla's artificial intelligence. Okay, so we know Tesla is a car company. That's a given. And we've also come to know of them as an energy company, arguably a world leader in solar generation and battery storage. Now, Elon will be pitching Tesla as an artificial intelligence company with the expectation that Tesla is already one of the best in the world and they're looking to push even further. That means that they need the best minds in the field of AI research and design to come work with them. Tesla already has one of those minds on their payroll. That's Andre Karpathy. We've talked about him in previous videos. This is the person in charge of the company's autonomy program or full self-driving, which is so far our best window into what Tesla is doing with AI. The public version of full self-driving has ambitions that far exceed its capabilities. In the public release, the car can handle basic driving tasks like stay inside the lane, change lane if you have to, don't hit things, don't let other things hit you, which is nice to have. It can make life a bit easier if you do a lot of highway driving, but it's nothing to get too excited about. In the beta version of the new full self-driving, that's a whole other story. This new software is only available to like a thousand people, but for those lucky few, they get to experience a car that actually thinks and interacts with the real world. And if you can understand how this new level of self-driving car works, then you can also understand why Tesla's AI could literally be the best in the world. So we all interact with artificial intelligence every day. I know this because you're on YouTube right now and every action you take is being recorded and analyzed by an AI that is trying to figure out what kind of video you want to watch next so that you can stay on this website for as long as possible. The system is pretty smart but it still requires user input to work properly. That's why I have to sit here and ask you to smash the like button on a daily basis. The same underlying operation is happening every time you're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Unless you're super diligent and constantly use a VPN or something, your entire online experience is being catered to some digital version of yourself that was invented by artificial intelligence. That's why it can sometimes seem like everyone is crazy except for you. It's kind of freaky and it kind of sucks and it's probably the reason why so many people are angry all the time. So that's where companies are at with machine learning. It's not particularly impressive and it may or may not be destroying the fabric of society. So it's not exactly ideal. Another kind of AI that we're familiar with is one that can play games with humans. We've had computers that can beat chess grandmasters for a while now, and recently we've had this company DeepMind, who are owned by Google, that created an AI that can play an even more complex game called Go. It's a very abstract strategy game that computer programmers have been trying to master for decades, but could only ever get their AI to beat an amateur human player. Go is known as the most challenging classical game for artificial intelligence because of its complexity. Standard AI methods, which test all possible moves and positions using a search tree, can't handle the sheer number of possible Go moves or evaluate the strength of each possible board position. But DeepMind were the first to write a program that could beat a professional Go player, and even a Go world champion. So even when working in the space of a game where there are clearly defined and unbreakable rules, it's still very difficult to get a computer to think like a person. And that kind of brings us back to the problem that Tesla is trying to solve with their autonomous vehicle system. They need a car that can play the game of driving, follow the rules, make the right moves, and anticipate the actions of other players. And in a perfect world, 
that should be enough to have a successful self-driving car. But then we have to throw human nature into the equation. And that just introduces so much chaos. Because even though there are defined rules when driving, people do break them all the time. And you just have to deal with it. Then there are environmental complications, like a tree could fall on the road or a sinkhole could open up. There could be a moose on the road. Maybe the moose is upset or maybe the moose is just chilling. So if a company like DeepMind struggled with the sheer number of possibilities involved in teaching a computer how to play a board game, just try and wrap your head around the number of possibilities and variables that are involved in teaching a computer how to drive a car. That's why Elon made the shift in Tesla's direction as a company towards artificial intelligence. He said that in the early days of their autonomy project, he still thought Tesla was trying to solve the problem of self-driving. In a basic sense, that's like teaching the car that green means go and red means stop. And they still may have been in this mindset as recently as 2019, when Elon seemed 100% confident that he would have robo-taxis on the road by the end of the year 2020. But once they actually got into the weeds of trying to make this idea practical, Elon kind of realized that the problem they really needed to solve was artificial intelligence, namely what he calls real world AI. Elon tweeted a bit about this back in April. He wrote, while perhaps obvious in hindsight, it turns out that the only way to solve self-driving is to solve a big part of real world AI. This is what Tesla is doing both in hardware and software. Unless a company is good at AI with tight compute, it's hopeless. This is insanely hard. And then he followed that up a couple of weeks later by saying a major part of real world AI has to be solved to make unsupervised, generalized, full self-driving work as the entire road system is designed for biological neural nets with optical imagers. This is a much different state of mind than Elon was in when he presented at the Tesla Autonomy event in 2019. Back then, he seemed to scoff at the idea that self-driving would be difficult and kind of acted like he had already figured it out. At some point in 2020, it seems like Elon realized that wherever he thought the finish line was in his mind, in reality, that line was much, much farther away. So in trying to achieve his goal of a fully autonomous self-driving car, Elon Musk has incidentally had to create a neural net or computer brain that functions basically the same as a human brain. And according to Elon, Tesla is very close to solving that problem. He said during the World Artificial Intelligence Conference on July 9th, I'm extremely confident that level five self-driving or essentially complete autonomy will happen and I think it will happen very quickly. Then he specified that with a timeline saying, I remain confident that we will have the basic functionality for level five autonomy complete this year. So to bring that all together, Elon is implying here that Tesla have in their possession a computer brain that is at least as smart as an average person when it comes to driving a car, which presumably would make it smart enough to do other tasks as well. All kinds of other human activities that we would have previously thought that a computer could just never reasonably accomplish which would be one hell of a lot more impressive than a computer brain that recommends what video to watch next, and even significantly more impressive than a computer brain that can play board games, even if it's the most complex game ever invented. And that's basically what we're expecting Elon and Andre to be talking about at Tesla AI Day on August 19th. And also why we expect that most of the people watching, ourselves included, won't really be able to grasp what they're going to be talking about because we're not artificial intelligence experts. But for those few people among us who are AI experts, the expectation is that when they hear the details of what Tesla is up to right now, that they'll pack up and leave whatever company that they might happen to be at and head over to Camp Tesla. As if all of that wasn't enough, there's actually more. The word on the street is that Tesla will be bringing something to the table that is based on AI and robotics, but will not be related to self-driving cars. So presumably, this would be something entirely new that Tesla has developed that we, the public, have never even seen before. What could that be? I don't know. 
People have speculated that Elon might wheel out some kind of humanoid robot with an actual personality, not like your Amazon Alexa or Siri that have fake programmed answers and opinions, but like a real artificial person, more like Tony Stark's Jarvis program, and then combine that with a fully functional robot body. I guess that would basically just be the vision then, but real and hopefully less destructive. That would be nuts in honesty. We're probably not there yet, but maybe something like a robot dog, a robo doge that could help you out with tasks like retrieving things, or even just providing some robot companionship, or maybe something more practical, a working robot like a droid from Star Wars. I bet Tesla could make R2-D2 right now if they really wanted to, right? I don't see anything that would be stopping them from doing it. You know what? That's it. That's my official Tesla AI day prediction. They roll out a real life version of R2-D2 and it's going to be dope. But I'm very curious to hear your predictions. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you haven't checked out our Tesla Space newsletter yet, why not give it a shot? Not only is it quick and easy for you to sign up, the newsletter is quick and easy to read as well. We keep you up to date on all things Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX related in a fun and concise package. Just the important stuff, no fluff. Check the link in the description to sign up. It's theteslaspace.com. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.